Alright, this is going to be a Shadow Raid Death Wish guide. Uh, not a comprehensive one. If you are familiar with the heist, this is not going to reveal, likely, any facets that you're uh, currently unaware of. It might, I don't know, but uh, this is aimed specifically at uh, friends of mine who are wondering how to dip their toes into this heist without having to just smash the face against it, uh, like I did. Um, so, that's what I'm aiming to do, uh, as you've probably established by now. Alright, let's get into pre-planning. Uh, dead drop, we're gonna put body bags at the warehouse south wall, we're gonna put thermite paste at the abandoned south building, and we're gonna put, uh, a loot drop-off point at the waterfront garbage. The waterfront garbage loot drop point is a dumpster that is is a gorgeous, gorgeous thing that makes your life easy. A stealth triple aught uh, judge is going to allow you to two-shot the murky water PMCs, which have as much health as Gensec elites. Uh, I highly recommend this weapon. Uh, you can also configure a deagle so that it has 18 accuracy and pops about 74 or 81 damage. Let's check. I don't remember. But, yeah, you can get a deagle that will three headshot them, uh, which is totally viable as well. Um, I prefer this because it launches bodies. Your primary does not really matter as long as it is of low concealment. Melee weapon doesn't either. Uh, suit is advisable. You can do this with 75 detection. I have done this. It is not as much fun and is uh, purely for challenge purposes. Let's go. Hot HUD initialized. So, first matter of business is going to be to eliminate the guard pathing through the area I am running towards. He will potentially see the bags are going to be throwing down, and that can cause uh, a bit of a headache. Hopefully we'll not get a camera spawn right here, which we did. This means we can't handle him just yet, so we're going to have to come back. Uh, and if I can figure out how to work some damn controls, we'll get up this ladder. Uh, so we'll probably have to handle him after I get the first bag done. And he's going to be a bit of a pain. Totally manageable, though. We're just going to go ahead and... Crouch jump our way across. Uh, so bunny hopping, or sprint jump crouching, as it were allows you to move at sprint speed at a crouch level of detection and will allow you to uh, pull off bullshit like that. It also works if you are n if you are hosting uh, in a dodge build with duck and cover and a sneaky bastard. So this door we're picking from the side and we'll show you why. We're gonna strafe in and pop him in the head. Now he flew back, right? Even if you have that deagle, if you shoot him in the head he will fall backwards. Uh, if uh, if he does, this means guards pathing along the side there, or even civvies, will not be able to see him because his head is out of line of sight. Um, and that saves you a body bag. Never open this door. It will be a pain in the ass. You can get away with it. You can do it. Uh, it's just not as easy. Um, money can spawn here. A server will spawn here about a third of the time. Yeah, cool. We're going to sneak in, grab our crowbar. That is a guaranteed crowbar spawn, um, and the one I always go for, just because it's right by where we're going. Get out of here. So we're just going to go over here and deal with this coke bag real quick. And he is not. Go away. Scoot. Just gonna go ahead and get what <laughs> the nothing that's in here. Uh, so I think we are gonna. Excuse me. We are gonna open up the room back here. Get the server that's in here. I don't know if there's a money bag. I kind of want to be a little cautious around the guard that is pathing over here still, because that could cause us a world of hurt if he detects and I can't get back in time. Like that. Okay, so we're going to go and we're going to shoot him once to stun him, shoot him again to finish him, and we're just going to drop down and answer his pager. We totally got screwed this run on the spawns in the top floor, uh, which is alright. It just means the, the warehouse lower level is going to be a bit more intensive. 
but that'll just give me more chances to show you how to work that. When we go back up, I will show you... Oh, and a guard. Jeez. We are just not getting good spawns, guys. So, we are going to go and get back on the roof real quick. I could have dumped a loot bag in there if I was trying to do this quickly, but this point, quick is kind of a moot point. Uh, so let's get back in there and rambling, and we're just going to fucking scoot and doodle past this guy. Check for money bag, nothing. Seriously? Wow. We got chumped, dude. Absolutely chumped. There is nothing. All right, let's just let's just get down there. Two bags. If I miss something, if someone sees something I missed, please let me know because that is really unusual. Very seldom do you only get two bags on the top floor. Um, I think this is the first time I've ever only gotten two bags. That's that's really poor. But that means everything in the bottom level is gonna have a bag for us. So we are going to handle this guy real quick. I just wanted to launch him away from that door. If he falls into it, a murky water can path in behind that door and look out and see his head. Uh, so I, I like to make a point to to launch his body away from it. Um, just gonna get rid of that bag. Now the body bags will disappear. If you if you uh you drop them over there, the loot bags will not, and that is important to remember because it saves you some time. Uh, and I will ex I will demonstrate that later. But we're just gonna go upstairs to the roof now, uh, so we can guarantee a crate spawn for the second part of the video. And I want to. Uh, state right now that this is probably going to be a two part of the first one. I'm just going to do the 12 bag complete. The second part we'll worry about navigating the yard and stuff. I'm not going to bother full clearing this. I really don't want to bother with it right now. But uh, we can at least give some pointers for that. So there's a box roughly from that line to that H and it comes up to roughly that guardrail. And if you are in it at 530, 535-ish, the helicopter that comes in will not be able to bring soldiers, and it will be forced to bring a crate. The reason being, it cannot spawn in the soldiers on the area you're, land, uh, you're standing in. Now, if you miss it, when you run here, you will hit a, an invisible wall, and you will not be able to go, and the helicopter will just fly over you. Um, it is worth noting that you walk into the... If two people are in that box, and one walks out, it counts as if both people did. Um, so if two people walk in, they have to stay there. Uh, for the sake of keeping the guy out. Uh, but honestly, unless you're ECM rushing this, I I just advise soloing it. It's, unless both people are on an equal skill level, it can get frustrating for one party or the other. Um, but, you know what? I, I have also, I have run this with people uh, who were learning and had some fun. So, you know what? I will leave it up to individual discretion. But for the time being, we're just going to start looting this lower level. There can be a coke bag spawn there. There obviously was not this time, so we're at two bags. We need ten, because we get totally dicked on the top floor. Here's three. So like I mentioned, we're probably going to get every every bag spawn we can. No coke bags in here. There will be a coke bag spawn there or there. Generally, there was not. Occasionally, there will be a weapon spawn on the rack there. We're going to check for a money bag spawn here. There can be a money bag spawn in there. There was not, obviously. But there can also be one in the kitchens. We're going to check for that. So we're four bags. We need... We need more. We need we need eight more. So... Oh, Jesus. And as I was mentioning... Oh! Beautiful! Okay, so that actually worked out very well in our favor. When it comes time to loot the vault later, having the key card there is going to make our life so much easier. Because normally, there is a civilian pathing around in a bright orange jumpsuit and a yellow hard hat, right? Uh, and normally, you have to wait for him to path to a spot that you can kill him in order to get uh, his key card drop, because he's guaranteed to drop one. Uh, however... Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Artifacts. Artifacts. 
uh, first on the topic of the keycard guy. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was close. Um, on the note of the keycard guy, you have to wait for him to path either to that corner or a corner in here so that you can sprint and get it when you are by yourself. If you have somebody else, they can just kill him, grab the keycard, and you can just do it. It is a 10-second uh, time lock on the, the uh, little guy in here. But that is that is something we'll worry about in the second portion of the video. He's going to be passing towards us, isn't he? Of course he is. All right. Money. I'm just going to clear the entire bottom floor. How about that? We'll just clear the entire bottom floor of the, the uh, warehouse, and then I will I will dump it all in, and then we'll start the second portion. I think that's a good idea. And we're just going to scoot and get the hell out of Dodge. Okay. Where are you? Come on. While he's doing that, we're just going to take a second to open up. Shipping crates, money, nice. Coke, I'll take it. Painting, and then there's one more over there. But hopefully this guy has decided to get the hell out of the way. Nice. I don't know what he was doing. He must... Okay, so what can happen on um, stealth maps like this, when you utilize, use all your... Utilize. Use up all your pagers, that is not the guy. Uh, when you use all your pagers, a, fit, a new AI will spawn in, uh, and I think it's called Investigator by the game. And what he does is he paths around and tries to find things with a custom path. This is the guy I was mentioning. He has a guaranteed keycard drop, um, so normally you will have to uh, either tie him down or eliminate him in order to get his keycard drop. But since since we we uh, derped the fuck up and had to panic kill a guard, we don't. Oh, get the hell out of here, dude. Okay, so we are just going to go over here and wait for him to move, which he has. So this is a good tactic. What you can do is you can throw bags up there and then grab them and hide in here if you need to. Um, it can be a bit tricky to get artifacts and other heavy items up there, but you totally can do it and it will save your heist sometimes. Because sometimes you're toting an artifact and just aren't fast enough to get out of the way. So we have all the hazardous ones. Let's go get the last last one that's kind of out of the way. And we will call that a wrap once I load up the van. And by van, I mean the dumpster. Because the dumpster is the new mystery machine. And, ooh, we got a weapon. So let's go get this guy. We're just going to... thought I saw lights. We're just going to scoot around in here. And we're going to... Going to get out the way. Alright, let's get him out of the way, let's sort this out. Coke, I like to put in the center, and I'll show you why. Money, center, money, center, money, center. Weapon, we're going to chuck that on the side. You will see in a why, see in a why, see why in a bit. I'm I am I am rediscovering with these live commentaries how much I bumble bumble over my words. I haven't I haven't attempted to impersonate a commentator in a while. And by impersonate impersonate's probably the right word. But whatever. We'll uh get our artifact on the corner here. Now, nifty little trick. Who wants to move all these bags one at a time? We're gonna throw them up over the edge here at that dumpster. They will land in such a way that they are out of the way of all the guards up there. Which is why I separate them out. Now, for the sake of answering questions, we're going to take a weapon and throw it off. It spawns in right here. Any, any uh, item will do that, but for sake of answering that, 
throw that right there. Keep doing this until we have all our items up there. And I think it's safe to say we got all the items we needed. Excuse me. It is too late into this for me to restart it. You're getting a burp. Two, even. Excuse me. All right. So we're going to crouch as we come up the ladder because guys that are up there, like that one, he was not looking out. But should they be looking out, they will start to see you if you have a bag. Uh, because having a bag on your back tanks your detection. Uh, or concealment, rather. And that little fall, you've probably seen it a few times, um, is an easy way to get down there without taking fall damage. As I mentioned before, fall damage will not end you on this heist. Um, you won't take a whole bunch of it like that. I, I don't even worry about fall damage. Honestly, um, just lobbing yourself over that railing saves you so much time. And now if no one's looking, I, I, I prefer to just, yeah, like this, this asshole, this asshole right here, this, this little dingus, if I stand up, he sees me, but if I stand down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, whatever, we're just gonna fucking truck along, get this out. Uh, yeah, screw you too, buddy. All right. Let us uh, pick up this package, package, whatever, uh, and start moving these out. And then I'm going to pause this. That will be one upload, and then we'll start the second, which, as I have mentioned before, will be its own little detail, and that will be walking the yard and handling the vault. And now what you can do with these letter bags that are coming up, I'm not going to, because I don't want to potentially botch this. You can just lob the bags um, and then run after them, especially the money ones that you can't, you know, run with. Um, but I don't want to potentially botch this this late into it. Fifteen minutes is a lot of time for a stupid friggin' Shadow Raid. Uh, again, and I don't even, actually no, not again. I haven't said this yet. Once you have your uh, your tactics and your strategies dialed in and you're not talking into a mic about what you're doing, uh, you should be able to complete this in about 8 to 10 minutes. Um, I think the fastest time I've ever seen was like 7.30, I want to say. It was it was 7 something, seven, mid 7 something, whatever. Uh, it, was, it was impressive though. Um, he utilizes a lot of the same tactics, or he utilized a lot of the same tactics I did. Um, you deal with the guard that's pathing along the side, you get up top. Uh, if you're looking for speed, loot any bags in front of the camera operator as you see them as you go through. Um, then as you finally work your way back, you will uh, get, the, get the camera operator, work your way back through, jump down, and then start counting bags as you go on the bottom floor. Uh, and then you can usually get done in about 10 minutes. But that was a 12 bag clear. Actually, I think we ended with 13. Uh, I am gonna, I'm gonna stop the recording. Uh, this was part one. Uh, in part two, we will focus on walking the yard.